What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 9.26 a.m. March 27, 2018, and we got a trading video coming to you. Bitcoin trading video. Um, but first, if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you're on DTube or Steam it, subscribe there as well, and upvote would be greatly appreciated. So let's get, let's get uh, right into it here. Uh, where we left off last night, um, we were right about here. Right about here. And the market was uh, market was falling off um, as it did just like this. So, um, you know, there's a few different ways to to um, to to measure this wave right here, or count this wave right here. Um, you know, for trading purposes, we were we were assuming that this was the end of the fifth wave right here. But it doesn't need to be. This could have been the end of the third. This could be the fourth. This could be the fifth. Okay. And that's one way to go about it. one way to go about it. There's another way to go about it where you where you draw this whole thing and really um, this is one, this is two, and possibly this may have been three right here. Okay, uh, where this is three right here. We're looking for a fourth, and then we're going to have a fifth coming down. It really is up to the way in which you like to trade and you like to analyze things. It's also based on what you think is going to be happening in the future. And so we're thinking. Uh, you know a few different things one of the major things we're thinking is that this is a large a a B and then we're gonna have a C coming down if that's a large a B and a C well there's a good chance that we have to count this wave a a as a longer wave in other words that would that, that this wave is not over just yet okay as far as a one two three four five is just not over just yet in the event that we feel that um, this is you know just was, was a correct corrective wave right here uh, and then we're making an A, uh, you know, a B and a C coming up here, and then we have another correction coming down, then there's a good chance that this wave is over. So those are like two main, main, um, uh, main thoughts uh, r right now. Um, but what I want to get into a little bit is a little bit more of what, what could possibly happen, right? So there's... There's a, there's a difference between the charts, right? And I'm going to kind of zoom out here. There's a difference between the charts, and that has to do with um, just the way the, the same coin can be traded in different markets. So this right now, we're looking at this in Bitstamp. But if you look at it in Bitfinex, you see that the red line, you see? It's the same red line that's drawn from basically the same, the same points, okay? Has touched here, and it's almost touched here. You look at it here on on uh, Coinbase and a similar situation, right? But if you look at it based on the chart that we're normally showing you guys, Bitstamp, okay, it uh, has it's it's further away here, and it basically almost didn't touch. It almost uh, basically didn't touch right here. So um, this is kind of one of these points in times where you need to look at multiple charts at the same time for multiple indexes. Um, it's not something, when I say multiple indexes, I mean multiple um, multiple exchanges. It's not something you really do all that much in the traditional markets because usually uh, whatever listing that there is, it's usually traded predominantly on one market and not so much on the other market. More so when it comes down to financials, but when you look at physical products, some physical products are traded more often on, on more than one exchange than it is, um, at least in the past. Uh, than, 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 than the financial um, types of listings. So, um, you know, <clears throat> what, are, what are we looking for a trade setup is concerned? I'm looking as far as to get into some sort of purchase, some sort of buy somewhere around this level right here as far as um, uh, this, this red line is con concerned on, on Bitstamp. And so let's say call it somewhere around the 7,000 level, right? Give or take, you know, it could be 7,100, could be a little lower, a little higher. Um, but um, what this is this this brings into the idea of laddering, which I have spoken about before, but nothing all too much. So if your ideal, if your ideal, you know, place where you want to get in is, let's say, for example, right here, right? Um, well, you also put in some other trades, right? Like here, possibly another one up here, right? And so this is kind of one way to ladder it. You can ladder it. You know, there's a, everyone has kind of like their own their own style, and that is based on your trading style. Okay, you don't really ever get into any one uh, level by more than like 20% of your position. 
Okay, and so like here, I happen to just draw, draw it at 7,465, uh, 7,263, uh, 7,071, uh, and 6,805. And this, there's no magical numbers as far as that's concerned. It's just what I feel looks good to me and my trading style and my risk tolerance. And that's the way in which you need to, you need to trade it uh, yourself as well or do it for yourself as well. So... You know what could possibly happen from there and this is a great tool i don't really use it very much with you guys but um right here with these long positions so let's say for example your average price is somewhere somewhere right around here right but where you know where is the uh your your you know um where's our target okay our target is pretty much, you know, right, it would be somewhere right around this level, right around here, about 8,034. Now, this is the way everything stands right now. Again, the market can move up, down, or sideways right after we make this market, right after we make this, this video, and things start changing, okay? But basically, this is, I would probably maybe move the, st the, the stop loss up a little bit more, something like that, okay? And so that risk to reward we have is about three to one, right? Right? So, it says it basically right here, 3.02. <clears throat> so, you know, this is these are the types of trades that I that that I like to take. You can also do it on the negative side too. Okay, you can look at look at it on the short side too, which pretty much would just be the flip of this. Okay, and the difficult part of that is that you know on the on the short side you probably would target probably the bottom right here. It would be a 5,970 somewhere around here. Again, this is on Bitstamp. So. Um, but I don't know if I want to go long or I want to short just yet. And I want to see more information. And I think we still have time left to see more information before the market decides to make a decision. Okay. And that's based on trading around this support level right here. Okay. That's that type of trade, trading around a support level. Okay. Regardless, you know, what I am expecting here is possibly if I count this as a one, two, three, four, five, I am expecting to see... I am expecting to see, you know, us to have a one, two, three, four, five coming up. Now, this is really good. This is really good uh, for the Laguerre RSI. Laguerre RSI really tends to uh, bring you through these trades quite a bit. Now, we've spoken about um, or helps to time them quite a bit. Okay, um, and we spoke about what happened here. This is from what I believe. I think this is institutional mucking around right here. Okay. Um, it just seems to be as if you know this is a beautiful you know channel that's coming down, and 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 the institutions were trying to sell it, but they're not trying to sell it too much to where it it creates you know a panic sell, right? But they try to sell it just enough, right? Just so the market, so the market, there's a new trading level right along here, right? And this is where they're purchasing, 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 purchasing until it got to a tipping point, and the market then sprung back up. And look what they did. They went ahead and they started selling this right along here, okay? And then the market came back down again. So, and they started selling it all the way back down again. So, that's a lot of institutional type type tri tricks and stuff like that. Now, I know I don't speak too much about that stuff because quite honestly, I ignore a lot of it. I really do. Um, my trading style kind of just ignores a lot of it, most of it. I don't really plan for it. Um, and I don't think you, you should either. Reason being is because it just t just takes up too much mental capacity. It just it's uh, otherwise you're looking for it everywhere, and then and then then you're really not truly really seeing the exact actual formations that the actual market is actually making. Okay, and then you're just going to be, you know, scared to really just do anything. So um, it's just not something uh, uh, I ever really even looked at, even from the institutional side. I hardly ever looked at it, never needed to, um, and, uh, you know, just continue on my merry way. But I did bring this up right here because I wanted to show you guys sometimes how to go about um, identifying these, ty these, these types of things, okay? If we had traded down here like this but didn't have this huge spike up where this market basically stopped and then were basically turned around on a dime and came back down, I wouldn't say this was institutional, right, if that, if that didn't happen. But the fact that we had, like, these three things happening all at once in very quick succession, um, almost robotic-like, is what is what leads me to believe. But getting back to the Laguerre RSI, the Laguerre RSI, like I said, Gets you into like a lot of good trades, okay? Even here, exactly. Um, you know, crossed over right about here, 
and um, right along this candle right here let me try to zoom in here right along this candle right here and if you're looking if you're looking to get you know get a pickup as far as a buy is concerned you know you can go ahead and look for, to see this thing to break out in order to come up even more more right or you could wait and see for the thing to come back down again right and then break up up again and see if this we really have a one two and we're gonna make a three coming up right this is a great way to time Elliott wave uh, and that's that's exactly you know a lot of a lot of what I do I don't exactly use the Ligaris I use something a little bit more advanced but um, this gets you 90 90 percent of the way there so um, on a daily basis I just wanted to go over real quick here <clears throat> Um, you know, these are a lot of bearish candles coming down, right? Um, let's even look at this here, right? Same here. A lot of bearish candles coming down, right? And we're outside of we're outside of the, uh, the the line here, and here too. We're outside of the line as well, right? So now these bearish candles coming down. I mean, you can see here, right? This would be from as far as a Coinbase is concerned. This is a, my, if you were to ladder the trade based on Coinbase, you pretty much your first ladder, um, if not your second ladder off of here, pretty much would be purchasing right along here. Now, purchase now trying to find the swing low or the swing swing high is extremely difficult. Okay, um, I happen to be pretty good at it, but still at the same time, it's it's pretty difficult. And so, in order to reduce a lot of that stress, you just ladder in. Okay, you just ladder in, especially if you're going to be trading on a larger basis, like a daily basis, or a four-hour basis, or a six-hour, twelve-hour basis, because still those runs are going to be those runs are going to be longer. Okay, so this is exactly what I'll do. I would go ahead and I would take a look at these few different exchanges, regardless of the fact of me whichever one I'm trading on, right? But on a daily basis, we do have quite a bit coming down here now. We did see right here, it's kind of difficult amongst all the mess right here, but we did see that we had a huge rejection candle right here. The market did run up from there. Now, you can wait for this rejection candle, right? Or we may not necessarily even get it. The market just may move up, all right? I don't think the market's just going to move up. We don't really have the volume for it. I mean, look how, how low the volume has become. And I think the volume is becoming really low because of the fact that we're nearing this bottom line again, this bottom resistance line again so leads me to believe that people just don't know what's really what's going on and there's a lot of this there's, there's, there's not a lot of confidence in the market actually I would say there's very little confidence in the market and and for confidence you need buyers well for buyers you need confidence um, you have to have confidence in the markets in order for buyers to return otherwise they're just really not going to return so on a daily basis I just want to pull up something on a on the um, uh, on the unbalanced volume right here but I mean we have a ways to go before volume really returns okay in order for us to really turn this thing north um, and that's really what I that's really what I'm going to be looking for on a daily basis as far as Laguerre RSI is concerned I mean we we're we're still coming down here all right we're still coming down so um, yeah, just trying to just trying to look at a few of them here. I mean, Laguerre, Laguerre has done pretty well, uh, just to say the least. Anyway, so so um, yeah, I think we're gonna leave it there pretty much for right now. Not much, not much, too much else to say without making this video even much much longer. But yeah, I mean, the to to, to take a to to buy or to sell is really your choice, okay? And you need to because um, I can't hold your hand through it and you know when I make my decisions um, I can't actually make the decisions and then make a video and get it into you get it to you guys in time it actually takes time uh, to do all this um, um, so you know I can't really I can't really I can't really do that unfortunately it just wouldn't be timely enough but um, you know hopefully just the few pointers that I have uh, given you should um, should allow you enough information or give you enough information to, to make the decision that you feel is right. So anyways, uh, we're going to leave it there for right now. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll speak to you soon.